Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We've moved indoors today. It is freezing outside and I've got a lovely big double garage, so I'm going to utilise it. So, been buying parts of the Exige because, you know, brand new car, you've got to do these things. They're never right, are they? So here's my brand new box of bits. Let's get it unpackaged and show you what we've got. So if you're not guessing the title of this video, it isn't your induction kit. From Elias 23, thank you, we ran for sending this out. I know he makes these to order. Highly regards on the Exige. I know he's uh, used to have on the past, so cheers for that, buddy. So yeah, ran a filter. And a nice bit of pipe. Now, on the face of it, it probably appears quite expensive for what it is. But you've got to understand a lot of development goes into these things. Like, if he wasn't doing them, I think there's a HKS system on the, uh, on the market. And they'd probably double the price as well. So, you know, to anyone unsuspecting, it looks like a bit of pipe and a filter. And essentially, that's what it is. But there is a bit more of a thought process that goes into these things. So, yeah, let's get the old air box off. Show you the process of that now. I've looked for some videos online and there weren't that many. And, yeah, let's see the difference it makes. Right, open the booth on these things. Pretty simple. Open. Done. It's amazing how light this... Uh, this wing is, bit of a dead fly on there, just making sure it wasn't a stone chip. It weighs absolutely nothing. So yeah, access wise, we're not too bad getting in here. It's a couple of bolts to take off, that one obviously connecting it to the throttle body. And I imagine there's a couple of clips here and there. Uh, it's quite a big airbox for what it is. Obviously the new filter will replace it from there downwards towards the scoops. So much better design in that sense. And hopefully it'll unlock some noise as well because this does muffle the supercharger noise quite a lot. Let's get it off. Right, chaps, remember, safety first. Not sponsored by Silverline either, so don't buy them. Uh, airbox here. This cover's going to come off. I presume we can pull the airbox by the top. Uh, I know some people have mentioned taking the arch liner off off the inside, but don't fancy doing that. So that cover at the back's going to come off first, and then we'll figure out where all the other gubbins are. So yeah, that gives us loads more access there, guys. And you can really see the extent of this airbox now, how big it is. So, main airbox. And then probably all these vacuum bits and bobs where it obviously connects up to. We see down there, the arch lining. That's like a cold air feed. So, let's look to get the rest of this airbox out. Um, take the intake off first. Und disconnect the MAF, which, yeah, Toyota. As much as we joked about the Jag, being a Ford Mondeo underneath, you know, that is a Toyota Camry engine with a supercharger whacked on it. So plenty of car parts being shared around different models. So yeah, let's get this thing out anyway. Right, so I've had a little nosy and apparently the two pipes that come off here, it is just a case of blanking them off at the ends. It does come with bolts, I've put them in there a little bit loose. Now at the moment, obviously this is just getting stashed away. They don't need to be that long, surely. Um, so I'm going to tuck it up out of the way for now, as it says per instructions, but eventually I'm going to chop them down, put the blanking plate in them, just so it's much tidier in the bay, like there's enough wires and pipes and stuff knocking around anyway, so I'll find somewhere neat and tidy to put that, uh, I'll probably chuck it around there, there is a bracket there as well, so I might just utilise putting it back on this one here, um, but yeah, we'll sort that now. Beautiful snap-on toolbox by the way. <laughs> And some lovely eBay special screwdrivers. US Pro. Not sponsored by them, don't buy them. Uh, but yeah, then I need to have a decent toolkit. Obviously, if we're getting things off, uh, you don't want to round these off because obviously, if you want to put it back on in the future, you don't want to kill it. And that is the wrong screwdriver. So I'm going to swap that out when we get that off. You know what? The one <laughs> screwdriver that actually does fit is a snap on, which seems to have inherited from someone because it's the only one we've got. A uh, bit of a bendy one. So yeah, take this out, keep the screws, put them back in, keep handy for the future if ever return it to stock. So I've just offered the pipe up now just to see which way the math sensor is going to go. That goes down there. There is a little clip that loops around here and there. Hopefully that doesn't, no, it doesn't interrupt with the nitrons, which is great news if you do have the track package, which I do and the dealer didn't know about. So thank you, Stratton. Uh, and then the filter. I did have to take that bigger pipe off though because it wouldn't have physically fit in there without there, but obviously big cold air feed there from your scoops. You can't see because my finger's in the way. You can just see it down there. That's where the big pipe was connected to previously with the air box. Um, you'd think there'd be a bit of a concern with heat soak, but we'll obviously see about that. Uh, yeah, let's get it all back together. 
So after a bit of a wrestle around, a little bit of persuasion, pushing it in, it's actually not that hard, guys. Put that end in first, get that clip on so you obviously line it all up, math sensor on, connect it back to the throttle body, make sure that one's tight, make sure that one's tight there, 10 mil, should have told you that earlier. 10 mil, 7 mil, and an 8 mil I think I've used all the way through, although you could just use a screwdriver. Uh, that's all connected back up now. Um, originally there was a uh, cable tie around that, so I'll probably put one back on there. I'm just going to look to move some of these cables and try and tidy them up if possible. I like a nice clean engine bay. Um, initial thoughts, obviously. Uh, there is a whapping great big hole in my engine bay now where that uh, airbox has come from. So I'm going to put that back cover back on. It'll probably look better with that now. It's hiding those pipes away. Uh, but one day we might look to just tidy up a little bit more because I'm sad like that. So that's with the covers back on at the back. It does look a little bit better, but obviously that pipe that hangs across there could be better. Red pipe could be tidied up. Just a few little bits to tart it up, but no one ever sees the thing. It's just me who's bothered. Again, sad. Um, right, so the idea being now is you let it idle for 10 minutes. Roll it out of the garage, let it do that, and then we'll take it for a bit of a drive. It's, you're meant to let it like learn the new values. Uh, and I think Imran says, don't take it out and kick its head in. Take it through the rev range and stuff. So we're going to do exactly that. We're going to listen to him. He can't be bothered with any faults on the dashboard. So let's get on with that now. Let's go for a little drive and see how it sounds as well. Oh, and that's the crud we've taken off. So, not that it weighs anything anyway, but nice little saving. And a couple of bolts left over from obviously the old airbox. Lovely. So, whilst that's idling, good time to tidy the garage up. This is a, this has been a creation of mine over the last year. It's not the best thing in the world, but it's better than what I've had in the past. Previous garage was a single garage, so this is an absolute dream. I'll, uh, I'll put some pictures up of how it used to look when I bought the house about a year ago, but I didn't touch it until a few months ago. Painted all the walls black, boarded out LED lights, etc, etc, etc. Show you some photos now. Just whilst I'm in between tidying up as well, guys, I do want to carpet the floor in here now. When I did it, I concrete painted it, and it's just going to be funny in places where the bike is and where they are, so the stool rolls around. So, thoughts, guys, they are meant to be water wicking. Got some samples from Carpet Tile Solutions. Came next day, really handy. Has anyone else carpeted the garage? Any thoughts? I have looked at those, like, the, the clip together plastic tiles, but I don't know if they're any good or, like, good for, like, rolling around on or how they are wet. So, give us a shout. Yeah, let us know what you did. You can hear that supercharger whine really well now. Uh, the exhaust flap doesn't seem to be working, so I must have done something wrong with those solenoids. Uh, you know, the planks, are, the, the pipes are blanked off, so let's pull over to the petrol station because I'm so impatient, I can't wait to get home. I'm just going to connect the red one back to the solenoid and the black one back up, and hopefully that sorts it. Take it for a drive home, see how it works. And this is why you don't cut the pipes first, guys. I've swapped the black one from the solenoid back onto the charger, red one back into the solenoid. Exhaust button's working again. Happy days. Don't know if you'll hear the difference between it on the camera, but exhaust shut. Exhaust open. Right, I'm back home. Bag of old bits now. They can go in the shed, be forgotten about until the car gets sold. Then goes to the new owner, can't they? Uh, so yeah, review. Good, happy with it. It's, uh, it's an expensive bit of pipe and a filter, but what's your other choices? Say, HKS, seven or 800 quid, or Elias 23. Uh, again, thanks to the developers of mate. Without you, these products don't come out, do they? So, good one. Uh, anyone looking to buy one, dead easy to fit. I faffed around a little bit in the garage and stuff, but you'd fit it within an hour or two, no problem at all, with minor mechanical knowledge. If you can use a spanner and a ratchet, it's happy days. Uh, next thing to this, stay tuned, you'll find out. Hit subscribe, hit like, leave us a comment. Say, let me know what carpet's up with my garage and stuff, and I'll do a little bit more about that as well. And I'll see you all soon.